Hey Gemini's, welcome to Tyron Hill. Welcome to the place where we Tyron Hill are where the self-love and unity consciousness. I hope all is well. Welcome to your reading for April. Alright, let's get started. I come to you on the God thanking you for your divine guidance, providing messages of divine light, divine love, in accordance with your divine will. What is it that the Gemini Collective needs to know for April? Alright, so you guys, um, there's some forgiveness that needs to be had. Um, because it's causing a fog. Um, it, someone might be, their, their thinking might be clouded by resentment, okay? Or some type of like bitterness or just, you know, the, the lack of forgiveness um, and letting go of something. It's like, it puts someone in a defeatist attitude, possibly a negative attitude, okay. Um, yeah, there's some resentment here. So someone might be looking at the world from a resentful place, you know, or just looking at one person from a resentful, from a resentful place. Um, Wow, look at that. Yeah, someone is moving in a shadow place, shadow from their shadow. Um, and you gotta check it. All right, that could be you, that could be someone else. Um, so you have the five of swords coming out at the bottom of the deck. It's like someone felt, either someone felt rejected or felt left out of, in a cold, humiliated, whatever the case is, and it has them moving in this shifty way. All right? This is their shadow feeling rejected or feeling it's something, you know, some type of pain that they're not facing. So someone's acting. Someone's turning into Shadowville, and it's time to go on back. Get up out of there, all right? Because it's actually skewing your vision. Like you're not moving clearly or thinking clearly. How you're perceiving the world is skewed because of the resentment. This could be you or someone else. Why is this page of coins here? Hmm. the hangman that perspective that needs to be turned around um see because someone's in this defeatist mentality with the nine of cups coming out and the ace of cups it does seem like a wish fulfillment is coming through but someone wouldn't be able to see it because of the resentment that they're harboring now this could be Someone is, is got hurt in the past, and so they can't open up to love. That could be it. They can't open up to this wish fulfillment, this dream love. And this dream love can come from, it feels new. I don't think it's a person that did the hurting but it's possible. I don't know if that part's important, but because even if it's someone that's coming back, it, it definitely is a new energy with this person. And someone might be hanging it over their head, like, remember back then when you hurt me? <laughs> oh, man. It's like, come on, why are you bringing up old shit? 
All right. Let's pray if I don't close out. This is very interesting. See, so. Someone has a choice to make in regards to like moving in this direction, taking a little step forward towards this, this wish fulfillment. Someone is aware that it's something that can make them happy. Sun card. It's like someone deep down knows that. Sun card with a well. It seems like it's something as solid, okay? And it even looks good on paper, all right? And I say good on paper because of public card. Like someone might look at it like, oh, that's a good look for sure. Um, hmm. Uh, what else is that going on? High priest is coming out. All right. So we have the Justice card coming out in reverse with the Ace of Swords coming out in reverse at the bottom of the deck along with the Star card. Okay. Healing needs to be done so you can see the perspective, see it a bit clearer. Okay. The Ace of Swords coming out in reverse. That could be a defeatist mentality. It can also be not seeing the truth. Okay. There's a healed way of looking at things right now. Um, but I feel like someone's blinded by a past injustice. All right. Um, they need to walk away from that with the Eight of Cups because they are walking into wish fulfillment energy. Hmm. See, someone's someone's shadow might be lying to them, okay? Their shadow is making them feel like yeah, wow. With the Two of Cups coming out. Um, this is definitely major alignment. If this is with a person, then yeah, this is a, a major soulmate vibe here. Um, but there's so much conflict with this Five of Wands. There's so much conflict here. With the High Priestess coming out, the Temperance card coming out in reverse, I... It's like someone's not, I think I talked about this in a previous Gemini reading, like if you are receiving signs, you might be reading it wrong. And it's because of the shadow, it's clouding up um, and it's skewing the intuition, the intuitive guidance is coming in. It's like your own, the baggage, whoever this is, the baggage, the burdens, the inner conflict, the inner turmoil, it's informing their decisions about the people around them, but they're not seeing the situations clearly. It's like, a little bit of PTSD, like if you're used to being at war and you're used to having to watch your back all day, every day, and now you're walking in, and now you're back into civilian life and you're walking down a street and somebody walks a little too close to you, it might trigger, you know, the, a response that would be fitting for war, right? 
like if the enemy rolls up on you that that quick that that quickly you might be like okay i have to respond um but not in the civilian world somebody might just be rushing by to go to work you know but because of the ptsd of the past the pain of the past you're like responding and probably expecting you know this is how it, it can manifest you could be expecting for the hurt to happen you might be if somebody's mm, Let's say if somebody's being nice, you might look at it like, oh, they probably want something from me because in the past, you know, and go down that whole storyline when it's like, oh, no, this person's just genuinely being nice to you, you know, um, things like that. That's how it could get skewed. All right. So you're looking at a situation and your your shadow is is twisting it um, to keep this going. All right. So it's time to raise your vibration and get out of that. Um, also deal with this, all right? Okay. Because some, it's about to be an injustice because of that, that energy, is, it's, it seems like it's about to mess up a soul tie, a, a soulmate connection. Um, and if this is resonating with you, then you already know this is something deep down you know is something that can make you happy so it's not like someone is just unaware of it i just feel like they're kind of getting in their own way and sabotaging sabotaging it okay mm. okay all right what's the blockage which is a defense mechanism right but face that understand like okay i know that i'd be happy here i know that i'm scared of being hurt i know that i have a tendency of pushing people away if that's what's happening or sabotaging the situations that i really want if that's the case then just own that and then check it when it comes up that's how you laugh at the demons like it's not getting rid of it that's just that's what's up that's in there that's what's up with the, that's in your shadow and it's okay right um but learning how to tame it is acknowledging that the shadow is there acknowledging how it shows up and then being able to identify it when it is activated and then course correcting like all right wait i'm tripping hold up let me back it up i know i have a tendency to do this and think this way when certain things like this happen so let me back it up and really see the truth of the situation here. Am I being triggered or am I seeing this clearly? You know, figure it out, all right? All right, what's the blockage? It just feels like a knee-jerk reaction. Um, yeah, someone's being triggered by love. All right, what's the blockage? See, someone's feeling the flow. Someone's feeling the push towards a connection, towards a new beginning, all right? With the full card coming through. This would require them to be different than what they were. Um, so it, it's pulling them out of the cycle of being triggered and putting them more in a cycle of being self-aware. Um, and that's just, a new, that's just a new way of being, which is already triggering, right? Um, yeah, this love is making them more self-aware of their triggers, and that is that within itself is triggering. Like someone's realizing, wow, Queen of Cups coming out of her. Someone's realizing the emotional waters are a little muddy. Their own emotional waters are a little bit muddy because they're like. Why am I acting this way to this person when I know that they can make me happy? Okay, I need some work. But then it's like, why they make me feel like I need to do work? I'm not the problem. You know, and then it's just going to this, this triggered energy. Okay. Yeah. 
What are they feeling to say? It might be causing some resentment to the person who is triggering that. Um, because it's a mirror. Mm. I mean, love be doing that. Love is a trigger. Love is a mirror. That's a fact. Um, but yeah, it's like someone's making them see themselves. And it's like, fuck. I don't like what I see now. I thought I was good. Page of Cups coming out here. With the Knight of Coin, Knight of Pentacles coming out in reverse. Okay. So this is where the cross and the, the fork in the road comes in. So this person gets this person gets triggered by love. Okay, or triggered by some something that is aligned with them, soulmate, whatever. Someone gets triggered by love and it triggers them to open up their heart space and um, look in and see what's going on in their emotional waters. And they have a choice whether they want to purify those waters, um, purify their emotions, release resentment. If they want to be in a more healthier emotional space or not, or if they want to continue moving how they've been moving. Libra have this energy, okay. And what's on the other side of that decision is them stepping into emperor mode, all right? Learning the lessons. Learning, learning what they've been doing, like how they've been sabotaging and not keeping up that cycle now. Um, but yeah, the two of pentacles come down to verse it's like someone's on a fence about it. Like, mm. I mean, I was good before. It's this person that triggered up all this shit. So maybe I'll just get rid of the person. <laughs> and I won't feel this triggered anymore. And that's not, you know. What's the advice? It's like being with someone who calls you out, right? But I don't feel like that's necessarily what's happening. I just feel like it's a spiritual call out. It's like when you meet someone who, whose energy is a mirror, you know, um, and it triggers. But it's like when you're being, when you're with someone who calls you out a lot, and you're like, and they might be right about what they're calling you out for. They're shining a light on your shadow. But let's say if you're used to people who don't do that, then you're like, I'm just going to surround myself with people who don't, who just accept this, who enables this. So I feel like that's the decision here. So are you going to like follow that opportunity to heal? Or are you going to kind of go back into the people who uh, enable this? You know, it's causing resentment to towards a person who's actually become a uh, yeah. They're the change change agent. So it's causing resentment because it's like nobody made me want to change before. Why are you doing this? Leave me alone. <laughs> All right, uh, the advice here. Yeah, man. Just take a baby step. Baby steps into the shadow work. Like, you can't know what you don't... You can't unknow what you know now. Like, if you got the mirror, and the mirror, like, triggered some, some things that you needed to know about yourself, it showed you your shadow. You can't unsee that now, right? So just take baby steps to start doing the work. All right? 
There's a lot of ego involved here. Yeah. Six of Wands. Yeah. All right. It's like nobody makes me feel my own feelings. Like, what? Let me talk about <laughs> But yeah, there's some shadow work to be done here. Yeah. It's always a choice, though. To double down or to take this opportunity to begin the healing. What's the power animal? Mm. Know your worth. Um, so, <laughs> yay, reclaim your power. Um, there's some insecurities here, right? Ego issues, blah, blah, blah. Um, the, the shadow coming up or someone didn't realize that they had this much of, or they didn't have a shadow, whatever. They didn't recognize their shadow at play in their lives in this whole cycle. In doing so, it might trigger Um, there's so many layers to it. It might trigger this person to, like I said, the resentment being put towards the person, the change agent, right? So it might make, if somebody's calling you out all day, every day, you're probably like, well, you think you're better? You know, that type of thing. It, it's just triggering this whole insecurity. It's triggering their um, self-worth issues, whatever the case is. It's fine. Um, just kind of spare, know your word. Understand that, like, you might be, if somebody is, if somebody's calling you out with love, right, you might be looking at it like you, because you have the, the shadow energy that hasn't been tamed, you might be accepting this, this as, oh, so what you're saying is I ain't shit. And it's like, this person didn't say that at all. They're just saying like, hey, maybe you could work on this, you know. Um, it's the perception, like somebody would speak and whatever the person is receiving, how the person is receiving the message is getting twisted up by feeling attacked or feeling whatever it is, it's based on this. It's based on insecurity. Okay. Anyway, so this person needs to step into their power, step into emperor mode, understand what it is, and keep an open mind because this person it is it, it feels very fixed. Like this person feels like no, this is exactly how they meant it. I don't care what they say. Like even if person A, change agent, um, the person who's a change agent, the the, tr the person who's triggering. This person could say something and person B will take it, take offense to it. Person A can say, no, I didn't mean it like that. I was just saying A, B, and C. And person B can be like, no, you're not gonna get over me, get get over on me this time, you know? And just like that, like the communication is skewed there's no open communication because a person is just stuck in their head. They, they're they stuck on the story. It's a skewed perspective and they're, they're in, they're, they're, they want to be in that perspective because they feel like that's the right one, but they don't realize that it's skewed by their hurt. But it's just a defense mechanism. It's a coping mechanism. It's like, okay, I'd rather assume the worst right now um, than assume that you love me. All right. That was tough to get out. This reading gave me a headache. Holy shit. Codependency coming out here. Finances and career. All right. Um... Okay. 
Okay, so we have playfulness coming out. There's a need for the, this person got to be a bit lighter, okay? They, like, somebody could actually just fucking love you. Or somebody can actually be nice. Or some, you know, not everybody's out to get you. That's what it feels like here. Someone needs to lighten up on that and realize that they got some things to work out so that they can accept love. Um, but we do have very soon coming through. Clearly decide what you want. Uh, so that it comes to you now. Mm. I feel like this person, see, someone deep down knows that this is this person can make them happy. I feel like they manifested them. Um, we have finances and career. Somebody might not be feeling stable enough financially, and that's like affecting their insecurity. Um, yeah. So someone like, if someone doesn't have, let's say if the change agent has more money than the other one, than person B, and this, and change agent is like, hey, I just want to get this for you um, because I love you and that's it. Person B could probably take offense to it and be like, yo, I don't need you to pay for this. You know, it's like, damn, I don't. I didn't even mean it like that, you know? That's the level of illusion that I'm feeling here, all right? So if this is you, it's time to start working on that. Um, working on it by acknowledgement and then checking yourself when it does come up. That's it, all right? It starts to be a little bit more optimistic when it comes to people at large, okay? Um, and then love, and specifically with whatever this change agent is, all right? All right, guys, I hope this provided some clarity. Let me know what you think. Feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment. Add me on IG, that's Tyron Hill. If you want a personal reading, check out the info box below. If you want to be an angel donor, check out the Patreon link below. And until we meet again, peace.